My name is uh, Kjell Alstrup Jensen and I'm a professor at the National Research Center for the Working Environment in Copenhagen in Denmark. And we are a national lab under the Ministry of Employment and uh, we have a relatively large group that works on, on nano safety. We are about 40 people who have this as a focus covering every aspect from the toxicology of, of nanomaterials and products the exposure assessment, the characterization of the products and nanomaterials, as well as uh, the uh, integrated risk assessment. Uh, in that aspect, we also produce uh, risk assessment tools, especially with focus on control banding tools. Um, and uh, <clears throat> we have a lot of effort in generating the background data, so basically the hard data on toxicology and exposure to try and, and establish a big data repository on, on these aspects so we can use that for, for the risk assessment and improving our methodologies to do predictive risk assessment. And uh, the, these are elements in, uh, in government governance, so they are the basic foundation as we see it for enabling a trustworthy governance is that we have trust in the risk assessment methods which are based on, on a documenta a documentation with data. Um, when it comes to governance, we are coordinator of the Calibrate project, uh, which I have been running now for two years. And uh, this is uh, really one of our efforts to try and translate what we have learned over 10 years of research up to the, to the governance level. So the Calibrate project is constructed to, uh, first of all, try and translate all the uh, lessons, uh, the knowledge that has been generated in the nano safety research with a big focus on the European research projects that has been conducted over more than 10 years, um, as well as the national knowledge that has been generated. And we try, based on that, to see what elements can be used for risk assessment and for governance. And the whole project is uh, trying to construct a um, systems of systems risk governance framework which can be used both for the innovation of uh, safe nanomaterials and products but also post-market where it can be useful for industries downstream to use uh, risk assessment tools that, un that underpins the, the governance framework. So we have a deliverance on creating the systems of systems framework at first based on models, based on uh, knowledge, so based on guidance, based on methodologies um, and then we have a big task in pooling together all the data that has been generated over the years into databases. Uh, we're not the only product doing that but we have a big effort in trying to do that and qualify the data that are in there. And this data we use for testing of the models, the risk assessment methodologies in the risk governance framework. So it's an essential part of establishing the framework is that we have this database development. <clears throat> then we also try to look forward, so come up with new methodologies, what we call next generation risk governance or risk assessment methods, where we try to look into the use of a, a high throughput test system, where you can use cell-based systems to understand what could be the potential hazard with a nanomaterial and predictive models for exposure assessment as well. So these are some of the elements that we, that we work with.